Hello and welcome back to Objects in Space. We're here with episode two. I'm um, going to talk to this guy. You look new. You on that boat that just turned up? That's me. Them Scud de la Vinci. Uh, great, you're the owner or just the operator? Both. She's my boat. <coughs> really? Nice. Owner operators are my favourite. Beholden to nobody. Free to play their own game. I'm the same way. Or at least I was back when I still had the ship. Name's Scud. I could ask you something. So, look, I'm in a bind. Trying to broker a little deal here, but my ship's in the shop and I'm in need of a, of a go between. Most of my friends are off world and unavailable, so I thought I'd try and recruit the help of a fellow freelancer. Shall I go on? Or are you about to tell me to jump on airlock? I'm happy to hear you out. No promises. Okay, cool, cool. So I don't know if you've been paying attention, but our smart ass Chancellor Tammy Black spearheaded an effort to outlaw effort to outlaw sand. Sorry, sand? I'm not familiar. Really? That's quite surprising, actually. Now I'm curious about where your accent is from. But time's precious here. Suffice to say, it's a recreational drug. Legal across the whole legal across the whole cluster, but not here all of a sudden. All of a sudden, what happened? Yeah, some potential issues with... Look, it doesn't matter. It's still safer than smashing liquor on a daily basis, and that's never been outlawed. Anyway, I don't want to discuss all this shit. It's just not something that matters anymore. But, see, we had a big shipment sent here, ready to sell, and bam, now it's illegal. That's a problem. Sure is. I now have thousands of credits worth of product. I can't legally sell here. Already going to lose money, but I don't want to lose all of it when some Border Patrol nut finds it. Confiscates it and unsells it to the mate of his claiming he destroyed it. So I need someone to help me liaise with the buyer outside of Leo where it's still legal. What do you need me to do? Great, so it's simple. I need you to talk to a contact at the Cornerstone Bar on Port Crawford in the Tega Star system. Her name's Sam, you can't miss her. Blonde girl, natural one too, or so she claims. I'd go myself, but I need to stay with the stuff. Tell her I have a thousand keys for her at 20 p per key. Now I honestly just want to get rid of it. I'll go as low as 15 if I have to. But if you can get to go for 20, I'll throw another 400 credits for you on top of the first 1200. Okay, what do I do once she's agreed? She'll give you a location. You bring that back to me at main concourse at Prefect Outpost. Don't risk comms or anything, just tell me in person. Then I can get our stuff moving to meet her. I'll pay you once you give me the coordinates and proof you spoke to her. Proof? She'll know what that means. Makes sense. I'll meet you on Prefect Outpost then. Great. I'll wait on Prefect Outpost. No longer than a day. See you there, owner operator. So we've got a day to do this. It's 7.23 in the morning. Let's just... Um... So visit Sam Cow at Port Crawford in Tega System. Are we in Tega System? Are we in Tega? Tega. So we're going to go to there. Oh yeah, Tega's in the Tegan Commonwealth. I've got a. It's not on here, but I've got a map um, that I got off the internet that tells you what um, who controls each system. So where we're we going, Port? Was it Port Crawford? Now, if we're moving, we might as well take something with us, actually. Just see if there's any... Uh... Oh, actually, one thing I meant to do... ...was let's buy these pods. And what these are doing, these allow us to have more cargo. We can even upgrade them with temperature... ...shielded. No, I don't want to spend too much. Yeah, 
So we'll take something with us. Something below market average. The temperature. Are these are illegal. I feel like they're illegal. It's not really worth it for that much. We'll take these though. Let's buy some spirits. We bought them for 300. Let's take some scrap as well. Might as well carry something. to the jump gate. Really need to upgrade this. Well, we're on our way, let's read our messages. Your recent actions have impressed us, and as a result, you have the pleasure of informing. We have the pleasure of informing you additional contract opportunities have been made available, and that's our contract complete. Now, what was in the news? Just backstory and stuff. That they are quite long. So it's about a grappling arm that we're probably going to get. <clears throat> yeah, so it's just about a grappling arm that you can get and it allow you to salvage. I don't think I did that. General pirate warning. To an asteroid belt. <laughs> well, we're just going to miss it. I'm just touching anything near the jump gate. Messages. Dots with the jump gate. It's going to cost us sixty credits. Organs are illegal, so we're good. Tiger and we are heading to Port Crawford. And we on nine o'clock, so it took us two hours to get here. We're pretty close to the sun there, so I'm just going to plot over here first. Activate ACOM then. <clears throat> IFF's off. Although sometimes it's good not to have your IFF on. Let's check our mail. Oh, keep forgetting to download.
Uh, urgent transport job. We could pay 750 credits. Um, oh, we're not in the Leo system anymore. So there's a job we've got over there. <clears throat> and you can reply to it if you want. So this is from Stone Industrial. Potentially take this. Let's see the destination. Oh, from Pen. Oh, it's too late now. An authority vessel here, so it's a good job we had our IFF on. Otherwise, might have got fined. And down here, look, we've got a little map. Now you can jump, you can get a jump drive, and I think between certain quadrants to jump, if I'm remembering that right. <coughs> With a little white dot here. Let's replot our course. Excuse me. Okay, we've got a torpedo. Oh. I've got a message from cargo ship. Drop your cargo, be destroyed. one was the was the authority vessel swift looks like they're already fighting it but let's report it Sets the vessel engaged in piracy. Um, I think it's C. Thank you. Oh no, stop, stop, stop. About to go into an asteroid belt. I'm just holding down shift to do this. Let's clear this. D. Got a torpedo, it looks like the uh I'm not sure actually. That That's the uh, pirate there. Mm -hmm. 
turn to have a look to see what's going on, but we're coming up towards turn now, of course. Message here, prepare to be scammed. Doesn't say what it's from, though. Why are we not full now, of course? Be all right. Not carrying anything. We shouldn't be anywhere. <clears throat> that doesn't matter anyway. Hansen transport job. And we docked. Say, are you headed to Leo anytime soon? Leo, how come? Seaball. That's a sport thing, right? Yeah. It's going crazy in Leo, and I want to be part of it. I'm going to hire you to take me there. I can pay. My father is willing to pay for it. Where? Crassus. That's convenient. I understand there are teams forming everywhere, so it won't be too difficult. And your father's willing to pay? Why? You want me to follow my dreams. If this is what I want, why shouldn't I try? Um, I don't like any of these. That one seems too rude. Definitely seems rude. Because life doesn't work like that. Because most people have to pay bills. So I should get a job and do the traditional thing, even though I'm lucky enough not to have. Well, T-Ball is bringing entertainment to thousands of people. That's not a good reason to do something. I guess so. So glad you see it my way. Do we have a deal? I'll pay you 1,200 credits to take me to Leo. Yep. Lovely, I'll meet you on board. So we need to find a contact. Who stands out? She stands out. Can I help you? Scud sent me. Did he now? Great. He, uh, he said why he was sending you? He's got some goods he wants to move over in Leo. Ah. Well, there's got to be something quite legal to ship here in Tega, but not so legal in Leo. That's right, a thousand keys of them that I can work with. What's he asking for? He's asking for 15. He's asking for 25. <clears throat> That's steep, especially given his products is hot over there in Leo. I'm guessing time is a factor. How about 15? 25's worth it, it's still less than market value. True, but with what's happening in Leo right now, it's a buyer's market. There's a time limit on this and I, and I know it. 25's not gonna happen. Okay then, 20. 20 is welfare and you know it. That's an interesting option. Let's just do that. 20. Look, alright, I can do that. 20 is. Done, I need something to prove I spoke to you. Okay, that's fair. Tell Scud we'll make the trade at the usual spot in Quadrant D of Tega. Pleasure doing business with you. What was the proof? Oh, Quadrant D. Show us a black market terminal. <laughs> yeah, it is. I've remembered it. If you press W on the black market, you can trade on it. Oh, apparently you can't. I bet you need the tutorial to... No, oh, maybe not. Weapons. They're illegal, though. I'm not ready to fight. S 
So let's sell this. Can't remember what we paid for. Oh. I think we paid 300 for them. We got rid of them. And then where are we going next? Uh, Crassus in Leo system. Prefect. So Crassus or Prefect. No contracts available. Need to try bounty hunting. Got anything below? Medical supplies. Yeah, we'll have them. Below. We'll have them. Below. We'll have them. Below. Actually, I think different systems will want different things. So, I've got a list, by the way, on the other screen of the different... the different places. And there's Columbus Trading, Crossus Harbour, Gasport. I'm sure you can sell certain things at certain stations, or the demand certain things. We might as well take them. Let's go back to uh, to um, Leo. I think it was Penton Commercial or Prefect Outpost. Really wish you could see the map while docked. Engage his course. <clears throat> Avoiding the asteroid field here, we're going in the nebula because it'll make us harder to spot. So we'll cancel the autopilot, we'll do this actually. Since people are firing torpedoes around here. Just gonna make it safe. Graphs two. What's happening? Attention unknowing Leander. Weapons fire will not be tolerated. Our attack in progress. Please head to quadrant A as soon as possible. Selden's rest. Oh no. It's not great. We're gonna adjust our course here. We're in three or five. Damn, we're heading straight for him. Damn it! We need to get over range of that torpedo. I think there's something up here. We're still in quadrant D. Got an authority vessel anywhere? Nope. Debris. So we could scavenge that. If we wanted to. Got an unknown, unknown contact here that I don't like the look of. Oh. Solid solution. Intercom. Tell passenger, I realised after we parted that I told you nothing about myself. 
was a little, little excited to see you. My name is Astrin Astronalis. Nice to meet you. I want to thank you for agreeing to transport me. I know it may not have been where you were intending to go. It's finally it was a good destination anyway. Let me give you my autograph. It could be worth something. Sure. Just in case you can always throw out afterwards. <clears throat> I guess I can. Excuse me, I should get back to work. CTR reactor. Right, we're in its blind spot. Let's uh, cancel the autopilot here a sec. Make a beeline for this nebula. See, compared to the first episode, there's not as much reading in this one. You, you really appreciate the new map as well. When you when you upgrade this, you really appreciate it more. <laughs> Torpedo detected on bearing 135. in there firing against the pirate oh yeah that's military it's not very fast Someone's telling us that we're going to be scanned, probably Ranger. We're not hiding that very well in here. I can't remember what PC is. Scans are clean, that's good. Catching up. Yeah, so even though that's still moving, we don't actually know it's there. Same with that. If we turn. can see it. I've just cancelled my course though doing that. We're going out of range now. Range is still there though. Detonation. Speed time up a little bit. was there. Uh, I'm going to reply to this. I've had other obligations, I'll have to decline. I think we'll get an email back. <laughs> Another pilot, another pilot snapped up the job already. Thanks for getting back to me regardless. <laughs> there we 
go, let's dock. We'll pay the fees and we jump. 80 to go back. So it's a good job we didn't take them weapons because we did get scans. So just to confirm this, we are going to Prefect Outpost and then we're going to Crassus. Although if Crassus is closer, which it is, we're going there first. But we haven't got a day for this. I think we should be fine. So here first and then Prefect. Also going to look for an upgraded computer. <clears throat> While we're here. And it'll look better. New contacts. Oh. It's like it's that. Should just miss that. Them asteroids. Increase in distance. We're in quadrant C. Have we got any military or? Authority ships around. <clears throat> no. I detected a torpedo, so I think we're good. Breather. Docking with Crassus. Wait for the bell. And she's going. Excellent, we're here. Thank you for your service, Captain. I'll leave you no memory on my name. Adios. Adios to you too, Asterin. We need repairs, we don't need repairs. The generators. Navcom. So we've got an NM60. It's the same one. Sensors, we've got a D4 SNS. H three zero boot time weapons improve your RCS your jump dr jump drive main drive solar wings as well don't know what use they are. But unfortunately, they haven't got a docking computer. Pay the fees. If you don't watch that go all the way, the next time you look at it, it like glitches. Dock. It, it does disappoint me that this game is abandoned. Like this is one of the games. I'd just love to see finished and DLC to it and just everything. It's 
so cool. And I just don't think he got enough interest. I don't think he was. I don't think he was popular enough. And it's such a shame. I mean, it's got like a submarine interface. It feels very um, Silent Hunter-ish. It's just a little gem for me, this, and I've had so much fun out of it. For I think it was like a tenner. Ten quid. Is that $20, $15, $20? Around there. Yeah. It's not perfect. Some stuff that, I, you know, I don't even know everything works. I just wish, I, I hope, I really hope that they pick it up in the future. That they do something with it. I mean, I think that's why part of me is put it on, putting it on YouTube right now, because I want them to see it's still got people interested in the game. Let's time compress this. There you go, you can see if you're in a nebula how dense it is. And I I just like I like trucking. I mean the last i I don't think I've done combat that combat that much to be honest with you. Each time I've come back to this I've just traded. I'll sometimes have work on under the screen. I'll do work. And this'll be on under the screen. Just in the background. Travelling to places. It's a good background game. Just look 37 minutes and it's just flown past. What's going on here? why that was doing that. Someone wants to scam me. It's probably you. I'm going nominal now. Yep. Shot sure, someone to do with scanning. Even get a little player up. because we're nearly there. We're nearly there, what's happening? Why are we not docking? Why are we not docking? It's just all stop. Too close for autopilot. Okay, we'll dock ourselves, if I can remember how. We're using too much power. I don't think you can crash into other people. Open your car. Yep, dock, there we go. What's this message? I bet it's that um, woman we dropped off. Or maybe not. Jackson Farlane. Two. Oh, it's got our name wrong. Fuck me. I didn't think you were ever going to show up. You're second last, you know? A couple of dozen of us had the same damn thing happen. We re reappeared as normal, but fucking years too late. 
Messed up. I arrived in 24A, right smack bang in between two Leon Miguel and Wars. Hell of a welcome to Apollo. Emerson came first, like two years after Planetfall. She always did want to win too much. And the rest of us have been arriving one by one for years, but the Cassandrans were still busy colonising Sagan's likes and doing sweeps of the rest of the cluster at this point, so she appeared in what is now what's now Maru with like no people anywhere near her. She was just damn lucky that a surveying crew happened to happened by the system at the same time. Could just as easily have gotten lost forever. Imagine that, like I mean, that that it's quite a scary thought in it, like in this universe. Like she got lucky by a surveying cr survey crew. Looking at Maru. And uh, man, your head must be spinning. I remember how strange it all feels, but you best get used to it. What's harder is your friends all being different ages. Emerson's damn, damn near 80 now. But here you are, and look, don't even worry. You're not without friends here, even if everything seems completely new. We spread across the systems, and I couldn't tell you the last time I saw anyone but Hinson. But we're out here. Older, arguably wiser, but still here. Most of us, I mean, I know you and Simley didn't get along too well, but I still hate to be the one to tell you she's gone. Pirates. But the rest of us, I guess that's what um, I wanted to say, we're here if you need us. I won't lie and say we can offer anything tangible. I mean, fuck, none of us are rolling in it. It's more than we, it's more than that maybe we can, it's more that maybe we can help out in other ways. As you find your feet, word is you've got a ship up and running and that's a good start. Me, I abandoned space, don't laugh. We're in a great agrarian life probably two decades, decades ago, but I get by. Peas is not so bad, it's in Galileo. Actually, that's something I wanted to mention. I can use a courier sometimes. Transport, re transport really. Mostly we just grow food, but I've come into this very expensive hooch on the side, and I wouldn't mind getting into Diwali. It's hard to compete with the upmarket producers around here. If you're ever in the area, drop in and we can talk, okay? We should catch up. It may feel like yesterday for me. It may feel like yesterday for you, but for me it's been more like half a lifetime. Crazy. Let's reply. Galileo's too far out, let's see this one. Jack, I haven't seen you for several weeks, haha. <laughs> but I'll bet it's felt much longer for you. Yeah, I'd love to stop by sometime. Count me in. We're decades overdue to catch up. Send. That send? Yeah. So we'll head out to Galileo. Galileo is right over there, so we need a jump drive to get here. Because these are your jump routes, and then to get to places like this, you need to kind of. Um, uh, I'm trying to think how you get there. You see a jump range on here when you get a jump drive. Right, where's that guy? There he is. No, it isn't. Oh, it's a different one. Hi there, stranger. Welcome aboard. Hi yourself, are you the official greeting party? Official? Ha! Nah, I just happened to be here and felt like being friendly. The name is Aki. Aki Hasegawa. Is this your first time here? Yep. Well, I guess I kind of am the welcome party. Tell me, do you feel welcome here? Yeah. Oh yeah? How welcome do you feel? Pretty welcome. Well then, I guess you're welcome. See what I did there? Um, so yes, anyway. What do you want? What do you do yourself? I'm not quite sure yet. I'm a freelancer, I guess. You? I'm a pilot. Medium freighters mostly. I don't have one fixed ship, so I fly around a lot in a bit of. There's a bit of a steering wheel for higher sort of thing. It pays the bills, and I get to travel a lot, which is nice. Oh, you're a pilot. Me too. Got any tips? Sure, I've got plenty. Uh, I've been doing this stuff for years, and I happen to love talking about it. Hmm. Let's see. How experienced a pilot are you? Not all, I'm... I mean... Not all, I'm totally new. Okay, I guess I'll just assume you only know the absolute, absolute basics. I mean, you did manage to land you after all. The main trick to it is to watch your power consumption. Those two vertical bars in the middle of your bridge, the one on the left is your total, the one on the right is the current power gain and loss. Everything you do, choose up power, you always... Gaining it back, but if you do too many things at once, some of the things you're asking your ship to do will get cancelled or go unfulfilled. So like half of being a good pilot is actually being a good engineer. 
if you keep running out of power, see how much power your main engine and RCS use up, compare that to the amount of power your reactor makes, and the number of batteries you have. If you're having power issues, one of those could definitely use some love. I'm just going to screenshot that. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. Like I said, I love talking about piloting. My dream job. I should run now though. Go play around with the power on your ship. Do some turns, some starts, some stops and the like. And watch those vertical power bars in the middle. It's all about managing those. Once you get an idea of how many manoeuvres your specific ship can currently make without running out of power, you'll now conserve it if you need to be one getting from one place to another. It's all about planning your routes well and keeping an eye on power. It's a balancing act, but one you can really get good at. That's really helpful, thank you. No problem at all, Captain. I'll send you a message with some tips too, just so you've always got them handy when you're out there. Great, thanks a lot. See you around. There's another guy as well who talks about being stealthy. I can't remember what he looks like. Oh, there he is. Not the stealthy guy. How'd it go? I'll get you full 20. She wants to meet you in the usual place in Quadrant D. Really? Impressive. Here's your 1200 and the bonus 400. And also, I appreciate you doing this for me and getting the 20. If I find myself in need of someone to negotiate a deal in the future, would it be interested in me contacting you? Sure, but no promises I'll be able to help. Depends on what I'm doing at the time. Of course not. Let me thank you for your help by giving you a tip. You know about the wire terminals? This is where you find out about the W. Now, uh, what are those? They're hidden terminals in all space stations that we use to buy and sell less than legal goods. You find a terminal that isn't quite working, press W on it and you'll see what happens. You dig? I dig. Well then, I'll bid you farewell. Take care of yourself. These. Press W and they activate. That's cell though. Not that, let's just have a look at this. A new and that one now come full colour. Oh. We need to sell some it. Above sell. Oh, above sell. Above sell above sell above sell now we've got enough by module look at the drop off there we'll sell the old one so we've got a full colour one now. No weapons. Okay, I want some contracts. In fact, let's just uh, I'll just show you this first and then we'll end the episode. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. Why is it not working? There we go. <laughs> Didn't connect it. Oof. So if you do play this game and that happens, click on your navcom, make sure you connect it. And there we go, look at this, we've got a full colour one. Look at that. See the nebula, you can see the asteroids down here. And the planets have got colours now. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
two of them there. <laughs> so we'll dock here so it saves. And there we go. And that's it. 51 minutes. Didn't think it'd be that. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to keep doing this because I'm quite enjoying it. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks very much. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Any comments, leave below. Bye-bye.